Hello, this is the voice of encouragement. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whatever time of the day it is, it is a time when we hear what God is saying to us. And today we're going to be talking about a title, God is not unjust. God is not unjust. Let me take a few minutes of your time and we'll have a quick look at two verses of scripture in Hebrews chapter 6. I'm going to read from verse 9 to 10. It says, But beloved, we are convinced of better things concerning you and things that accompany salvation. Although we are speaking in this way, Verse 10 says, For God is not unjust, so as to forget your work and the love which you have shown toward his name, in having ministered and in still ministering to the saints. I just read the New American Standard Version. I love this scripture so much. And I love God's word. Because it encourages us, it builds us up, it helps us know more about God. We just read this verse, verses from Hebrews. And this is God's word speaking to us. Through the writer, it says, we are persuaded of better things concerning you. Whatever state of things, whatever, whatever state it is now, God says, we are persuaded of better things concerning you. There are better days ahead. People might be saying negative things, especially people who don't have God on the inside of them. But for us in Christ, we are rest assured because the Bible says the part of the just is as a shining light. We keep shining brighter and brighter and brighter unto the perfect day until he comes. My tomorrow will be better than my today. That is our declaration based on God's word. But you see, verse 10, it says, God is not unjust. He's not unrighteous to forget you, to forget your work and your labor of love. We live in a time where, you know, people a lot of times just want to make it. So they take other people for granted You might be showing love to people. You may have been doing so many good things with a good heart. And then you see people taking it for granted that you are getting discouraged. And at some point it looks like, you know, nothing is happening. You can choose not to do any good. You can choose not to do any humanitarian service. And then nothing will still happen. There was a time, obviously, um, in my life that, you know, I was working, putting in so much, and different people were wagging their tongues, and I felt like giving up. Let me tell you the truth. I did, but I just kept on pressing. Whether God says anything, he sees me, he knows my heart. I just kept on doing what I was doing, and I tell you, God did come to visit me. I don't know where you are now. I don't know what the situation is, but God's word is coming to you this morning. It says, God is not unjust to forget. And it was clearly stated here in that you are ministering to people. You have ministered and you are still doing it. You are still rendering service. You are still burning yourself, showing love. It says, God is not unjust to forget your work and the love that you show toward this thing. He knows that those things you are doing is because you love him. Keep on doing it. And he says he wants us to do it until the end if you read further down. And that is the word of encouragement coming to you this morning. Don't give up. Don't stop showing love to his name. Keep on that work. It's because you love him. And I tell you, you are laying up treasures for yourself. But do it because you love him. God is not unjust. You are not forgotten. You are a city not forsaken. He will reward your labor of love. So keep doing the work and keep doing the work and keep showing love. I'm going to say a word of prayer with you. 
Lord, I just pray for everyone listening to this. Help them to be strengthened and be encouraged. Lord, to keep on showing love to your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Till the next time, this is the voice of encouragement. Show love and stay strong. Amen.